Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here on the Shardimus Wank channel. Uh, doing another daily vlog and it's laundry day. It's time for me to do some laundry because I'm wearing my own shirt in the house all by myself. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, I'm here to tell a story and thanks for ever giving me the idea to share a story. Because I got some stories, man. And uh, it's called Marvel Legends Series 6 Wolverine. Uh, because, uh, well, the six place ten years ago. Uh, back in 2005, so nine years ago really. But in 2005... Uh, I was playing in a band called Dexter Danger uh, w with one of my best friends, the Ice Cat Mang, who's the lead singer of the Mangs. He was, uh, back in the day in Dexter Danger in 2005, he was the bass player of the Mangs. Also a Marvel Legends collector. Uh, really cool thing is that, uh, you know, the lead singer of the band I'm in, also a comic geek, and the lead guitar player, Miguel, another comic, huge Batman fan. He had a Batman tattoo, or he still has his Batman tattoo, I'm sure, like right here. So it was really cool that they're cool with stopping off at places, you know what I mean, and checking out for figures and stuff like that. So Ice Cat and I, uh, we're the only two actual action figure collectors. And I remember, uh, if you guys seen the Marvel Legends Collector documentary where uh, me and Century Productions are speed walking in the Target, you know, and doing that whole thing, that was where I got the idea, was from me and Ice Cat when we are going on tour and we do these stops in random distant places, we would do that whole speed walk thing and it was always interesting because we were at places we'd never been to before and you kind of know where the set, you know, these big box stores more or less have the same layout but they're always just slightly different so it was kind of fun, you know, try to guess where the toy section is and race to the toy section and everything like that and, but Ice Cat would run! Sometimes he would just straight on sprint and I was 24 at the time, I couldn't, he was only 19 so I guess he felt more comfortable doing that I was a 24 year old guy, I couldn't do that so uh, so we're in Provo, Utah, at this Walmart in Provo, Utah. And sure enough, we both start going, and Ice Cat starts running. And I'm like, oh, I can't, I just, I just can't full on run like that. Especially because we're two brown guys in Provo, Utah. It's like supposed to be like the most uh, hardcore conservative, you know, city in the country or whatever. So, yeah, so I was trying, yeah, I was just trying to, I was like, okay, whatever, you're going to get there first. But I still speed walk. I come around the corner, I see Ice Cat, grab a figure, he's like, oh, Nick Fury! He grabs Series 5 Nick Fury, right? Pulls it from the peg, as he does that, another figure falls down, lands face first on the ground. He's looking at his Nick Fury, and I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, damn, I kind of want that Nick Fury figure. Jeez, sucks. Look down on the ground, and you know, the Toy Biz Marvel Legends, they used to have a uh, different, um... They, they, they used to have like a specs on the back like and everything and a little thumbnail image of the character on the back. I saw the back of the card and first my eyes went straight to that thumbnail image of Wolverine and I had never seen that Wolverine picture before on the back of a Marvel Legend. And I was like, hold on a second. And I grab it, turn it around, and I'm like, Series 6 Wolverine! And I look up and Isaiah is like, what? Puts it down, walks straight out of the store. <laughs> and follow like, whoa, what's wrong, dude? Check to see if there's more. He goes to check to see if there's more. Last one. That was actually the only figure I'd ever seen in store from Series 6 that was actually worth a shit. Like, uh, I think the, the Thomas Jane uh, figure, I'd seen that at Toys R Us before, but never had I ever seen Deadpool, uh, Juggernaut, or Wolverine, or Cable on the shelves, ever. I think, I think, and Phoenix. I'd never seen Phoenix. Oh, no, I did see Phoenix in Washington. Okay. But I think that was part of that weird re-release that had happened with Toy Biz. Anyway, he, the dude was pissed off like crazy. Now, I, I had picked up uh, Omega Red in Washington, so I already had Omega Red with me. So I was stoked, man. I'm posing my Series 6 Wolverine, and having him fight Omega Red, and we're in the, you know, I'm sitting at, like two little kids, and I'm in the van, Ice Cat's right over here, and I'm like, oh, this is sick, you know? And I can see, he's just sitting there. Like, not making a sound. The last thing I had heard, like, it was like, it was like hours, and the last thing I had heard him say was, Oh, Nick Fury! He didn't say anything. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, man, you want to see the figure? You know, you want to put the figure or whatever? He's like, nah, I'm good, man. Fucking asshole. You fucking asshole, dude. He was so pissed, like it was my fault or something. Oh, man. Yeah, it, was, it was great. So I, there's a lot of sentimental value with that figure. Now, at one point, Ice Cat used to work at Toys R Us, and he had, he was able to, a lot of really cool figures in my collection are from trading with Ice Cat, like my face-off Captain America. 
I think I had done a trade series. I traded my Series 6 Wolverine for a face off cap, and then I had gotten the face off Daredevil and got my face off cap back from it. Like, him and I, but that Series 6 Wolverine, we had traded that a few times. And I remember, I remember when I traded him that Wolverine, I remember getting pissed off seeing it. On, on on his desk and everything at his place, cause and then I remember, and then we would just trade it back and forth, and eventually now he doesn't collect legends anymore. Ever since you know Hasbro took over, he just stopped, and and then I now I have my Series Six Wolverine is mine, you know what I mean. But there's always that little like whenever he sees that figure, Ice Cat gets a little pissed off, or he always questions the pose that I leave that figure in, like he could have done better or something like that. So I don't know. Share a story with or, I don't know. It's kind of long, but you know, did you guys ever have an experience like that with a figure where you and one of your best friends have fought over it? I don't know, or have like incredibly like like that figure has a very very high sentimental value. You know, I got it in Utah. And and Ice Cat could have gotten it if he if he hadn't run into that series five uh, series five Nick Fury first, you know what I mean? So I don't know. That's my story. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought. I'll catch you later. Peace.